want to know why you feeling stronger in this season you want to know why you 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 coming into a, a a different level of awareness in this season it's because you in your prime you feel what i'm saying you didn't went through years and years and years of being battle tested you 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 are in your prime right now you are a seasoned vet you was not to be played with man the strength is hitting difference you are you are now seeing the results of you being in the gym all of the all of the battles that you face all of the pushback and everything that you went through you you seeing the results of that now you know what i'm saying all of that stuff was working you out it was building your strength it was building you up right that's why it's hitting different in this season that's why you feel like you cracked the cold in this season that's why i feel like you just you just got a bird's eye view you like a you like a og for real you like you 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 been here you do this for real you you've been battle tested like you know what i'm saying like you you ready for the war you ready for whatever come your way your strength is on another level and that's because of the the uh the level of resistance that you have to face you know what i'm saying when you in the gym and you working out you're you're basically facing resistance is what builds your muscle and what builds a person's physique and spiritual physique you have you have been battle tested but i want to let y'all know that the that the level of resistance that y'all face on the come up on the come up wasn't normal that's why you feeling the strength that you feeling right now you on another level because the, the attacks that came against you was on another level. You feel me? The attacks that came against you was on another on, on another level. The things that you faced was not normal. I want y'all to understand that it wasn't normal. Everybody go through life. Everybody got their own issue. That's true. But when you carry something, when you when you a change agent, you you're meant to be a change agent. You're different. And when you carry that, yo, the things that come against you is gonna it's not gonna be just normal things. You know what I'm saying? These things were meant to destroy you. It was meant to crush your spirit. It was meant to get in your mind. It was meant for you to feel insecure about yourself. It was meant for you to look in the mirror and, and feel insignificant. You know what I'm saying? Feel less than. All of the things that came against you was trying to come against your mind. And I've talked about this in other videos, right? But we gonna dive in a little bit deep today. Like I said, those things was not normal. It wasn't normal the the pushback that you was facing the rejection that you faced it wasn't normal it was literally like one thing after the next one situation after the next one situation after the next it wasn't normal but it was very necessary for your growth it was the ingredients that you needed for you to become who you are today it was the very ingredients that you needed for you to become who you are today but they knew who you were they knew the spirits that these people operated in they knew who you were they knew what you carried that's why it was so hard. Like I, like I said, like when it came to you, they came out guns blazing. They came correct when it came to you. You know what I'm saying? They came exactly how they were supposed to come. Because what you carry is 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 way more important than even them. You know what I'm saying? It's a chain reaction. And we're born in this specific time for a reason. And so they came exactly how they were supposed to come. You feel me? So the grade of weapons that they use and the and the the level of tactics that they use, yeah, they use those things because they it's a direct reflection of the power that you really have. Yeah, they had to come correct because you already come correct. The thing that you carry inside of you is correct. The Holy Spirit inside of you is that. Yeah, they had to bring the big guns out because do you know what you carry? Do you know who you are? Do you know what your purpose is on this earth? You get what I'm saying? What you carry, you, you a change agent. You you different and you've always been different your whole life. This ain't something that just started a year ago, two years ago. This been happening since you can remember. You feel what I'm saying? You always been singled out. You all it was always something when it came to you. It was always something when you came to you. And that's why with technology and YouTube and all these different things, you you're you're not awakening to the point of knowing who you are. Who are you? Your purpose. What? you different for a reason what that's what make you you that's what make you powerful that's what make you who you are and you and you've always done this even if you wasn't even if you didn't fully know who you were you're you're just just the way that you naturally think from the outside looking in it seemed like you knew who you are even in seasons when you didn't know who you are it seemed like you knew who you are just based off of your actions because your natural state is different off rip it's automatically different it's automatically different from the status quo, from the algorithm of this earth. Even if you didn't have full full awareness of you being different, your actions and your thought process alone, the way that God made you alone, always made you different. That's why you faced a lot of things in your adolescence years. But let's dive in deep with even with that. Like I said, they went hard to you. They came out gun blazing. It's almost kind of like you see those you see those movies uh, with the with the. Uh, you know these sci-fi movies with the universes not the universes but the multiverses right 
and it's let's just say it's the villain or whatever and the villain in some year in 3050 or something like that right let's just say um they they ended up losing the battle and then they 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 destroyed their evil plan what they gonna do then they be like okay i'm gonna go back to when they was like 10 and then i'm gonna go back into the multiverse or go back into time to try to stop them when they in their adolescence years before they grow up to be this big great thing that can destroy me a lot of y'all man i'm i'm using that as an example that the reason why people wasn't playing with you when you was five and ten and twelve and fourteen and even when you 20 like even if it don't matter about the age even even as a younger adolescence yes well up until your adult years too you still are facing these things too but the reason why it started off so intense early on was because the spirit was almost like going back in time it's like we know who you are we know exactly who you are we know we know that god sent you here on this earth we know that you different you feel me we know that you different so we got we they have a mission too just like how you got a mission they got a mission too we they like to keep people like you sleep if they can't kill you or destroy you they like to keep you sleep or they like to get you off your purpose or they like to i'm, I'm looking at the you know cicadas moving around they like to they like to keep people like you sleep they like to either if they can't kill you or destroy you they like to keep you sleep they like to keep you off your purpose or they want to get you to believe that you're not even nothing to begin with so they try to crush your spirit as early as possible so you don't even think that even that you can even step into this bag right they want to get you to destroy yourself and the intensity of the weapons didn't even it didn't even qualify like at that time i should say it didn't even qualify for that level of threat so let's just say let's just say it's, you got one enemy right you got one enemy in the empty field it was equivalent to them like throwing a whole nuke for that one enemy it's like that don't even qualify for if it's just one person in the field like you you didn't have to do all that to try to get it but see this is where it was different with you they was throwing nukes at you and god was reflecting that you was walking out of the fire you was walking out unscathed you know what I'm saying? And even if you got wounded in the season, the levels of weapons that was used against you, it was supposed to take you up out of here. So even if you, let's just use the example with the nuke. Let's say a nuke came down, you in the middle of the field, you ain't supposed to be, it's not supposed to be no no signs of, of hope there. You're supposed to be completely destroyed. The things that they did to completely destroy you, the fact that you even still breathing and the fact that you was even able to walk out of there to, to keep moving, it, it, it shows your level of power within itself. They knew who you were. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of times is when the enemy, they constantly doing this thing because at first, like at first they don't, they don't fully know how strong you are. They don't fully know how aware you are. They don't fully, they can't fully gauge where you are in your spiritual journey until they do attack you. And they start feeling that like, okay, no, they different. They know you different. They going to try to attack and they use their attacks to try to gauge where you at spiritually. But God was always with you to, from the from the get go. The level of attacks and schemes and plots and slander and whatever and and whatever they was doing to come against you when them things wasn't working and you was constantly going on the rise, they knew they knew they couldn't mess with you. And so what happens then is a lot of people they bank on your ignorance. See, it's a lot of reverse psychology going on. They know they 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 know they can't they can't tangle with you. They can't stand ten toes down when it comes to you. Just straight up. That's why a lot of people they they gang up. They do this. They 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 gotta get a lot of other people. You feel what I'm saying to to do it. And even then, they still couldn't stop you. And they couldn't stop the God that's inside of you. Even then, those spirits is, is they 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 are no match for the God that's that is inside of you. There is no match at all. They know that though. And so what happens is, though, they bank on other things. They hoping that you ignorant. They hoping that you don't know who you are. They hoping that you don't realize the power that you carry. They hoping that that you still sleep. You feel what I'm saying? They hoping that 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 you still lost in a sauce. They play mind games because they can't beat you strength wise. But if they can try to get you in your mind, then maybe they got a chance. You feel what I'm saying? And those was a lot of things that you've been facing, a lot of mental warfare, a lot of spiritual warfare. You've been faced a lot of things since your adolescence years. And now we fast forward now. This is part of the reason why you feel like you're on another level. You, you, bro, you, sis, y'all, you like a spiritual OG. You like a, you just in your bag. You know what I'm saying? You in your prime. You seasoned. You a seasoned vet. Like you been here before. Like stop playing. Like you feel what I'm saying? Stop playing when it come to you. Stop playing when it come to you. When I was in the world, man, and this a lot of people that was in the world at the time when you was coming up this is another reason why it was so intensified on you it was a book and i didn't read it until i was in my 20s i didn't know nothing about this when i was young and stuff like that 
But when I was in the world, I was like, you should read this book, whatever. It was called 48 Laws of Power. Y'all already probably heard about it. Y'all know about that book, famous book, worldly book, whatever, right? Only reason I'm bringing up this book was it was one thing it said in there that said that never outshine your master, right? And I don't look at these people as masters or nothing like that. Mind you, at, during the times um, when y'all were younger and when y'all was on y'all come up, y'all quote unquote outshine y'all masters. The way that you thought was different. The way that you, you had your own mind was different. Your skill sets was different you know what i'm saying and a lot of times the reason why your path was hard the way that it was hard was because you showed so much of of value that you had and they knew that you was they, they knew that what you had because when you're dealing with people that's narcissists and manipulation they there it's called 48 laws of power for a reason they they thrive off of power and when they see somebody who has the potential to have more power than them, and it's not to say you were seeking power or you're gonna you were trying to use the power to do this and this and that, no, but when they're operating in that, you you instantly became a threat. So when you came around with your with your with your bubbly self or with your full of life, full of full of just different ideas, full of creativity, full of hope, full of light, full of love, you get what I'm saying? When you came with those different things, man. You outshined the master. Like I said, I don't look at these people as masters. I'm just looking at it from the perspective of their world. You're not even thinking of nothing about outshine the master, nothing like that during these times, right? You just being you. You just being who God has created you to be. And this was the beginning of stages when you started to realize like, okay, I need to move different. This is when you started becoming battle tested. This is when the battle started to begin for you. When you started stepping out into this real and when you started, you thinking in your mind that that I'm finna come out into this world, I'm finna give everything into this world of, of what I'm here to be. You had a dream, you had goals, you had these different things, you had hope, you had motivation, you had drive. Life ain't sink in yet. You get what I'm saying? And when you started to be around these people and you came with that, the, the vampires was out. They wanted to suck you dry. It didn't make sense at first because you didn't know that people operated like that. You feel what I'm saying? You didn't know that people operated with these spirits and demons. You didn't know that that's how the game go. But that's how the game go. You feel me? But at the same time, it was it was it was needed for you to go through that so you can be the vet that you are today. So you can be that so you can be the anchor that you are today. So you can carry the mantle that's placed over your life today. It was meant for you to it was meant for you to learn from the wolves. It was meant for you to learn from the demons. It was meant for you to go even down your own path. And, and learn from your own demons and learn from your own mistakes. It was meant for you to go uh, go down exactly what you needed to go down so you could become this seasoned OG, this seasoned vet that you are today in the spirit realm. You not to be played with. The strength that you feel in and all of these different things is because of the a level of resistance that you faced coming up. It wasn't normal. These things wasn't normal at all. You're not even normal. You may be used to seeing yourself in the mirror every single day and seeing how you think and thinking how you think. It's not normal. You feel me? You're not, you're, you don't, you don't think the same as most people. You feel me? So you used to seeing yourself, but from the outside looking in, you different and people can see that on you. It's as clear as day. They can see you. You feel me? They can see you. So continue to wake up, continue to know who you are. Everything in life is going to try to slowly get you to get back into sleep mode. You awake right now. You, you, and I, and I know that's a term, woke, wake. I'm saying like right now you are aware. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, and you're, you're, you're getting the realizations of you being aware right now. You are fully aware on a lot of fronts. Like you feel what I'm saying? You fully aware. You're fully aware. You're fully aware. You aware right now. And I keep saying that it's because that's just, that's a, that's a crucial key word in this time right now. You aware. You you are aware. You are we are in a pivotal stage right now. Remember in the last video I talked about the crossroads. Crossroads. It's crucial times right now. You aware. And things that try to come into your life is going to try to put you back to sleep. It's going to try to put you back into disbelief. It's going to try to put you back into desperation. It's going to try to put you back into things that's not of your purpose. Your path was different. It wasn't normal. The level, the, the the skills and tactics that they used, they were they was using all the tactics when it came to you. You feel me? They came correct. They know, yeah, you gotta come like that. Yeah, you gotta do that. Yeah, you gotta come like that. You know what I'm saying? Because because what you carry is so, is so much of a threat to the kingdom of darkness that they came exactly how they were supposed to come from their perspective. They came exactly how they were supposed to come. 
but it wasn't enough and it'll never be enough it don't matter what trick and tactic it don't matter who, who they conjure up who they try to link up it don't matter about none of these different things you're gonna always continue to outshine them you're gonna always continue to outgrow them you're gonna always continue to move above the hate or move above the naysayers move above the smear campaigns move above the the destruction and that's another thing in this season right now that you in such a good position right now continue to follow god continue to trust in god allow god to to allow god to respond through you like now that you now that you have been in a place of healing you got to realize that you don't respond the same you don't move the same like i said you 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 you've been doing this you season you move different now in the season your response is different now you don't even talk as much it's, it's less that people can extract from you right Remember how I was saying they was banking on your ignorance? They was they they really banking on your misstep. They they ain't got they they can't do nothing to you. You feel me? But you could do something to yourself. At this point, if you know what I'm saying something was to happen, that's you know what I'm saying, you probably fell short or something like that. They 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 banking on your shortcomings. And I'm only saying that just because that's a possibility, but y'all not even in that bag. Like I said, y'all been here before. You've been there, done that. We in another level, man. We ain't going back. It's over with. It's up. You feel what I'm saying? It's it's up there all the way. You feel me? So, so in this season right now, man, like a lot of y'all have elevated to, to a whole different level, right? Y'all moving different. Y'all don't respond the same, right? And so a lot of people who try to slander your name, a lot of people, they eating their words, man. What? They eating their words, bro. They eating that because what, what used to work in previous seasons, it don't work in this season. So now people, they quiet. They quiet. You know what I'm saying? They could try to go to the to the drawing board as, as much as they want. It's over with. It's already over with. People already people already drew a line in the sand when it came to you. And now that you on this other side of the season, you already trumped a lot of those people. It's over with already. You ain't gotta worry about that. You ain't gotta worry about that. It's literally over with. <laughs> you feel me? It's it's over with. God is the ultimate chess player. Checkmate. It is it is over with. The game is over with. You feel me? And so moving forward. Now you you feeling this strength is because you got the victory. You got the victory. You won. Enjoy your wins, right? And as we move forward in the next life, what you going to do with your win now? Right? Just like the other videos I was talking about. What you going to do now? You moving forward. You in a different level. You in a different bag. New levels, new devils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you moving forward, you already know how to handle these things. You feel me? But right now, like I said, they hush, hush. They watching. They, they, they really hoping for your mishap. But the game is already over with. You already won. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, a lot of people got to eat their words in this season when it comes to you because of your transformation, because of your, yo, yo, man, the glow up that you just did, just even spiritually. And it's not even about the people and the tactics and the things. It's not even really about that. It's about you really ultimately stepping into your purpose and knowing who you are. God just, uh, God just utilized them or allowed those things to happen so you can get the training that you need to step into who you are right now to step into this season right now no matter what age you are it don't matter if you 10 watching this 15 it don't matter if you 20 it don't matter if you 45 80 75 i don't care how old you is in in this current moment right now you are you you have arrived in this current moment right now through all of those trials and tribulations you get what i'm saying and so i want to come over here and let y'all know that the things that y'all faced it wasn't normal you're not normal you know what I'm saying? You you are here for a reason. You are a change agent. You've always been different. You've always been like this. You've always been a king. You've always been a queen. You've always been spiritually on another level. You always was able to discern spirits. You was always picking apart things. You always saw through things. Yeah, it may have not been fair. Life ain't fair. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't always fair. But this was the path that like if anybody was going to handle it, it was going to be you. If this path was going to be assigned to anybody, it was going to be you. You feel me? Because you can handle it. Because you can take it. It's because of the mantle that's inside of you. What? You think you're not going to reach that, mount, that mantle? That, well, they thought that you wasn't going to reach that mantle. They thought they was going to go back in time. The spirits thought they was going to, are we going to utilize the closest people around you to try to crush your spirit? What? Come on, man. Child's play. Child's play. You feel me? And you are aware. You are aware. You are aware. And you are rare. You get what I'm saying? Even though y'all, even though y'all watching these YouTube videos and y'all got a whole bunch of other content creators who y'all watch, it's still a rarity. It's still a rarity. You know what I'm saying? It's still a rarity. You are rare. Continue to be blessed, man. Y'all stay smooth, man.